and in and out. And why do I not close those hands up to the sky? Both hands up to the sky. And shake it off. Shake it off. And in your mind, tell yourself, I am powerful. In your mind, in your mind, I want to know. In your mind, I am powerful. I love mathematics. Mathematics is my favorite subject.
Okay? Hands on the table. This has got the whistles. This is a great race car. Okay? I love that. Okay. <laughs> now imagine this is the race car course that I'm driving on, right? It's going around an oval. It's going around a shape. If I was wondering, how far is it around the track? What's the distance around the shape? Then I would need to know the perimeter. The perimeter is the distance around a shape. Wait, wait, wait. What is the perimeter? The perimeter of a shape is the distance around a shape. And it's easy to find. You can find the perimeter of a shape by adding all of the sides. That will tell you what the distance around the shape is. Great, now let's practice finding the perimeter. Look at this triangle. What is the perimeter of this triangle? Okay, first we need to know how long all of the sides are. Then we can figure out the perimeter. With this triangle, all three sides are the same length. So how long are they? Let's pretend we measured it, and each side is 10 centimeters. Now remember, to find the perimeter of a shape, we need to know the distance around the whole shape. So we just add the sides together. What's 10 plus 10 plus 10? That's three tens. What does that equal? Yeah, 30. Awesome, the perimeter of this triangle is 30 centimeters. Remember, CM is an abbreviation for centimeters. 30 centimeters is the perimeter of this triangle. Okay, I want you, I want you all to open to the back of your books. My job is to make the columns easy. Okay, open the front of your book this time. Open the front of your book. New page. On a new page, please. On a new page. Okay. Right, the date. I'm giving you 30 seconds for I to take on new page, yes ma'am. I'll tell you.
Five seconds left. I think both of you are done. Yes.
10 centimeters plus 5 centimeters? 3 centimeters. On the board there, if you want to cheat, it's fine. And then the answer to this is? 30 centimeters. Who's feeling a little confident now to do, to do this? Okay. Good, 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 good. Let's do another one. Choose a shape for me. Come and lift up your hand. Lift up your hand and choose a shape for me. Yes, why the other back? This one? Diamond. Diamond. No problem. Okay, let's draw, redraw this diamond, okay? You, what do you notice about this diamond? Can we work out the parameter of this diamond? How? Is there, any, is there any numbers to add? Yes? The sides are equal, but do you have the measurement of the side? Yes. Where, where is the measurement of the side? Can you see that on this diamond, I read through this one here, it's not perfect, but it's the same function. There's no measurement here, no measurement here, no measurement here, and no measurement here. Do you agree? Are you sure? Okay. So give me a measurement from here to here, hypothetically speaking. Uh, yes, go. Uh, let's say seven. No, she said ten. We use her ten because I asked her. Ten. Ten centimeters. Okay. And let's say all of it is equal. So ten centimeters. We we'll say that is ten. Say that side is also 10 and then that side is also 10. Nisha, how would I calculate this? Uh, someone else, someone else, someone else. Uh, little girl in the back, how would I calculate this? Yes. Remember we're going clockwise, so maybe we start with this one first. 10 centimeters plus 10 centimeters all well done. Plus plus 10 centimeters. That's it, baby. Okay. Now what do we do? What do I like? Yes, boy. You are in the house, sorry. Yes. Yes. 20 centimeters. Okay, 20 centimeters. Equals to? Look up your hand. You are talking. Equals to? 40 centimeters. Okay. Now, I want you to draw this triangle in your book for the pencil it doesn't have to be perfect this triangle here can you see this triangle? ok draw this triangle in your book it doesn't have to be perfect I'm giving you 30 seconds are you done? no no just draw it doesn't have to be perfect ok so you're going to draw your triangle and then I'm going to give you values, okay? So you drew your triangle, everyone's eyes on the board. You draw a triangle, right? 
Who's willing to come to the sun? Right now, mm -hmm. you see when you wait for it, and then you see. Is she right? Yes. Yeah, okay, you can continue. Do you guys have permission to continue? Um, Okay, well done, yes. You wanna 
Is it still your answer, Ned? Yeah? Absolutely. Anyone else, yes? Irregular shapes have equal size. Yes? Equal. Irregular shapes. Unequal. Okay? You remember regular? Equal size? Irregular shapes? Unequal size. I want you guys to read this. Can you read it? Irregular shapes? Basically, what we plan to say is irregular shapes and unequal size and unequal measurements, okay? Alright? Let's do this. If you look at this shape here, let's read the again. Okay? Well 
astăzi.